everyone, welcome for our second day coverage at IDEF 2023 in Istanbul, Turkey. I am once again with our Turkish correspondent, Typhoon Orsberg. Typhoon, good morning. Good morning, Xavier. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Uh, this is a very busy show. And we're now standing on the huge Azerzan booth. Azerzan is uh, the, Tur the leading Turkish uh, defense electronics company. They have a very nice and large model of TCG Anadolu. It's the famous uh, LHD slash drone carrier of the Turkish Navy. Typhoon, what is uh, showcased on this uh, model? We see a number of uh, UAVs as well as uh, helicopters. Yes, Xavier. Uh, TCG Anadolu uh, has joined the Turkish Navy a few months ago. It's our new flagship. It's famous. Uh, by, by its drone uh, launching capability and the launching and landing capabilities. As you know, uh, this ship was supposed to uh, carry F-35 Bravo jets, but after uh, the partnership was broken, uh, Turkish defense industry developed a new solution and deployed, uh, uh, tr decided to deploy uh, unmanned system on board, which is which Turkey is very good at. and. Turkish uh, drone manufacturer Baykar developed by TB3 Bayraktar drones uh, on this uh, on this ship. Uh, it's, it can be seen on the model, the small ones, and the, the big one on the aft is Kızıl Elma, uh, which is so-called unmanned jet fighter. Uh, it's still under construction, and the TB3 uh, will make its maiden flight within this year, as far as we know. And TB3 is based on uh, TB2, we can say it's the naval variant of TB2? Yes, uh, exactly. It's the naval variant and f with foldable wings, you know, uh, uh, to fit lots of uh, drones into the hangar. We see it at the back of the ship. Yes, indeed. At the back of the ship, there are, there are uh, folded wings TB3 drones. And as weapons, this ship has uh, two uh, phalanx closing weapon systems, baseline one Bravo and a smart as an air defense radar and some more relevant sensors, including uh, a cell sun made electronic support system and electronic attack system. Uh, these uh, ships have extensive command and control capabilities and it also uh, it can also be used as uh, disaster relief operations and so on. So uh, defining this ship as a drone carrier is uh, underestimating ship, uh, under, underestimating this ship. This ship has much more capabilities than a drone carrier. Very well. That was just a brief look at one of the many display on the Azerzan booth here. There are so many new systems on display that will dedicate a, a full video to uh, the Azerzan booth. We are now with Turkish company Harmelzan and its uh, president, Mr. Bakim. Mr. Bakim, good morning. Uh, good morning, Javier. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Thanks for welcoming us on your booth. So you are showcasing this uh, new dipping sonar for the first time. What can you tell us about this project? Uh, yeah, it's the first time that we are presenting our dipping sonar system in IDEF 23. Uh, as Armas and Defense, we are building sonar systems according to the needs of our Navy and uh, one of the potential areas that we should be developing a system was the ASW sonar systems. And for the ASW sonar systems, we presented our new product, uh, our Orkun 2053 dipping sonar system. Uh, it's a helicopter dipping sonar, but uh, it's not going to be used from only a helicopter. It can be used from an USV as well. Uh, right now, we are in contact with both helicopter manufacturers and both USV manufacturers. Uh, its frequency is below 5 kHz, which means that you will have a detection range of up to 30-40 km according to the uh, sea environment, sea conditions. Uh, our goal is to integrate this uh, prototype to a USB in 2-3 months time and demonstrate uh, the performance of the system to our Navy. And next step is going to be the integration to our indigenously designed helicopter, naval helicopter. And hopefully in the near future, we will have some export news as well about the product. And it's specifically uh, designed and developed for shallow water and uh, littoral waters? 
definitely. As you know, uh, there are lower frequency systems uh, that our Navy is using, but uh, they are generally being used in ocean environments. So we designed the system according to Turkish Navy's operational areas. Very well. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks a lot. Maxan is showcasing a new naval gun system, uh, dual barrel 40 millimeter. Uh, it's a program for the Turkish Navy. Sir, good morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. What can you tell us about this uh, new Thunderbolt uh, naval gun system? Yes, this is a Thunderbolt uh, for the naval gun uh, for the Navy, Turkish Navy. First, we agree uh, with the Turkish defense industry uh, before we produce the 76 millimeter. Uh, prototype. Now uh, this is our 40 millimeter naval gun uh, for the Turkish Milgem uh, ships and uh, we just uh, signed the contract for the prototype and uh, end, end of this year we will make uh, tests, fire tests uh, with the Turkish defense and uh, we hope to get approval by the middle of next year then we will start mass production this is for the air defense 40 millimeter and the muzzle uh, the magazine uh, capacity 740 pieces and, and uh, firing rate firing rate uh, 600 for both uh, barrels uh, per minute single 300 per minute so you said for the mill jam, also for the fast attack craft, I believe? Uh, yes, also fast uh, carriers and mill jam at big ships as well. We hope to get approvals and we, start, we hope to start mass production. Very well, thank you very much. Most welcome. We are now with AFSAT who is showcasing two new ship designs. The first one is the future OPV offshore patrol vessel of the Turkish Navy. To learn more with me today is Captain Topuz. Yes. Good, good afternoon. Thank you so much for welcoming us on your booth. Thank you, Xavier. Great to have you here. And uh, as I told you uh, before, you know, when we met, I'm very happy to see, you know, your website is the one that I have put alert button on. And the, one, the ones you see and from here to back there was all belong to Milgram class family ships. And they are produced in, in production in different versions. Offshore petrol vessel type is uh, the one we are make currently constructing for Turkish Navy, two under construction in the water. Uh, we are very happy with this uh, Milgram class, Turkish Navy Milgram class ship. So uh, new variants uh, may come up every day uh, you know we are still thinking about how we can best optimize you know as you know much better than me speed for protection uh, you know and uh, strike capability and now new concepts are um, emerging with uh, unmanned surface uh, vehicles so we are thinking about how to accommodate more unmanned surface vehicles including their command and control systems and optical systems also and they are getting in very versatile in you know weapon systems and sensors so they are we are able to give wide range of options to the commanding officers and commodores. This is uh, called the OPV for the Turkish Navy. Yes, it's the, no, it will be known as the Hisar class. Yes, Hisar class. It's very heavily armed, however, with anti-ship yeah. missile, you vertical launch not missiles and main gun and uh, gogdenus this is the model but it will be dependent on the choice of turkish navy they will be fitted but not with style but uh, gogdenus will definitely be there and uh, surface to surface missiles will be there and uh, their engine system is a little bit cost optimized uh, you know we are going rather than gas turbine to diesel engines and we don't require very much high speed i personally don't think that higher speeds are required a lot for today's Navy is because of the speeds of the missiles. Anyhow, uh, this can be, you know, converted easily to a Corvette, let me say, you know, uh, you, you know, uh, 
definition of the ships can be changed to nations to nations, person to person. So, but uh, we are happy with this and uh, we are ready to go on with our new constructions. And uh, last but not least, what is the name of this uh, frigate project? Uh, we called it, for, to, as for today, AS3600. Uh, uh, but uh, when we materialize it to con something concrete, we will see uh, how the host navy will define it. Captain, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.